Hello, everybody, and today is the Rocky and Derek Show. Today we're today we're downtown Greensboro at the Forge. We have we're interviewing Heather Pendrack. Heather, um, Rocky. So today, if you don't mind, we're gonna be asking you a few questions. Sure. Derek, would you like to start off with the first one? Give the microphone for you to you for a reason. Okay. What do you do here at the Forge? Um, I actually run a business where I do 3D scanning, 3D modeling, and 3D printing. Um, do you 3D print everything? Uh, we do 3D print a lot of things. We work with a lot of different people who might want to start a business. So sometimes they'll have things that they want to prototype. We also work with artists who have models that we print as well. So we do a lot of different customized kind of things. And then we also scan people. So you would have a 3D model of yourself if you wanted one. Does it cost money to get it for yourself? Yes, it does. How much? Um, we usually charge $150. $150? But that's just for the first one. Ah, okay. So what you do is we get a scan of you so we can 3D scan you and actually create a model from that scan. And then once we do that, you can actually buy lots of prints for a lot cheaper. But it's putting the scans together is what takes a bit of time to do. Um, what do you specialize in, the people? Uh, I specialize in people, but we do do a lot of 3D printing for other people as well. But I have a background. I was an art teacher, and now I teach modeling and animation for Ragsdale High School in Guilford County Schools. So we do a lot of modeling for games as well. So I have students create 3D pieces for board games and uh, 3D models for games that they would want to create. So like, what are y'all making today? Um, today, we're not, uh, we were going to be making something in uh, Sculptress, which is a 3D modeling program that's free for people to be able to use. So it's very easy to get started. And I always recommend when you want to get interested in 3D printing, the first thing you need to do is be able to create something that you can 3D print. So it's a very easy software to be able to make something. What is the biggest thing you've 3D printed? Uh, I actually 3D printed a uh, self-portrait or a bust of uh, Brent Christensen. Uh, he is the head of the Greensboro Chamber of Commerce, so it was almost 12 inches high. We were walking around and we seen some fidget spinners. We're like, what are you doing with the fidget spinners? Um, people can actually design their own fidget spinners in a 3D program. And when you design it, you can put any shapes on it you want. You just have to make sure you leave enough room for the bearings to spin. And you can create your own fidget spinners and 3D print those. Does it cost money? Uh, it depends on if you want to learn. We do offer workshops and things on how to make stuff. And those are open to the public. And sometimes we offer free workshops to people who are members of the Forge. How many members are there at the, fo at the Forge? I believe we're probably around 160 members. I'm not exactly sure, though. But the director would be able to know that. Does it cost to be a member? It does. We have different memberships for uh, people to be able to come here. Students and educators usually have a discounted cost, but then we have a regular membership fee. And then we also have businesses and co uh, corporations that will either sponsor or have a corporate membership. So we have different prices for different memberships. Before, when people wanted to get these jobs, like, did they have to do tests and see if they were good at it or not? Um, it's not c like a test you take in school. We have what are called certifications for different types of software programs. And the tests are mostly how you can do things in the software program. So it might ask you to do something and then you just have to show how you did it and get an answer. So it's not like an, where you pick A, B, or C for those. And they're called certification exams. And I'm actually certified in one. It's called 3DS Studio Max. We have we had we had to do the EOGs today yeah. and yesterday, mm -hmm. and now we're doing it next Tuesday. Yes, lots of tests. I know. Wow. Okay. Um, what do you teach? 
I actually teach modeling and animation and game art and design, and I also teach a class called scientific visualization. So we do a lot of art programs. We'll use Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, and 3D Studio Max. Do they have tests? Like, we do have tests, yes, for some of them. Um, our modeling and animation course is going to be new this coming year. So since it's a new course, we don't have a state test, but I do have to make tests, yes. Um, who was the first worker here? Uh, that I'm not sure who was the first person to work here. Like, who was the person that came up with the idea of making it? Um, there were some founders that got together, and I think they started meeting in coffee shops several years ago and had this idea of a space where people could come together and make different things and use tools. It's almost like a YMCA membership, so you pay a certain amount every month, but you can come in and use all the tools whenever you want to. Yeah, you can't use the tools whenever you want to? Pretty much, but with a YMCA, you're limited to when they're open. But if you wanted to go and use a pool, you could go in and use a pool. If you wanted to use their exercise equipment, you could use their exercise equipment. So it's pretty similar to that in that you can come in here anytime and use any of the tools. So they have metal tools, they have woodworking tools, they have the 3D printers, we have pottery wheels even. So we have lots of different tools and things that you can make. We even have a sewing area as well. Have you ever printed a BB-8? I did not print a BB-8, but we do have one of our members who is printing a BB-8. Okay. I think I have a BB-8. A lot. Off of Star Wars, right? <laughs> what, what, how many years have you worked here? Uh, I have been here two and a half years now. So I was a member a little bit after they first started in their first location around the corner. And then they expanded and have since gotten bigger. But I've been a member for about two and a half years. Why did you become a member? Uh, well, when I first started my business, I needed to use a 3D printer to see if my business would work. Um, so they said, there's a 3D printer at the Forge. Go try it. So I, I had some scans of different things, and I brought it here, and I used their 3D printer. It's the Fusion 3 Design printer, and uh, found out it was great. It gave me a lot of resolution and a lot of detail that I wanted in my model, so the people look just like they did when I took the scans of them. So did you always want to like have a job that involved art when you were little? Yes, I did. My mother is actually an artist, so I always grew up with pens and pencils and different coloring things around, and I didn't have any brothers and sisters, so I was always <laughs> trying to find something to do because it kind of got bored sometimes, so I would always draw or paint or make things, so I've been doing it since I was very small. How much do you pay to stay here? Um... I don't know if I'm allowed to say that or not, but I am an educator. So since I'm a teacher, I do pay a discounted price for being an educator. So you have like classes, like a classroom and everything here at the Forge? Yes and no. We do have classes with the computers. So I do teach classes in Sculptress and 3D modeling here. So we are able to do that in what's called the soft space or the area where we have the computers. Do like, do y'all let, like, let people go take them on a tour? Like, if they were in college and they were deciding on coming here, would you like take, give them a tour to show them why they should work here? Oh, yes. Um, we have people who come by all the time who say, oh, I heard about the place. Can you tell me about it? And they'll just walk in any time. And most of the members will pretty much tell them or show them around, show what we have, all the different tools that we can use. Um, we even have a gentleman who works in our bike shop. So we actually have bicycle repairs and such that we do here as well. So we have people who come in for different things, wanting to uh, have someone help them with something. Maybe they have something that they want to make, so they'll come in, say, can you 3D print this? And they'll direct them to who can help them with that object or whatever as well. So anybody can come in pretty much at any time for a tour of the building.
So how do you become a member? Do you like sign up online or something? Uh, there is a membership form online that you can sign up to become a member. Um, we also have uh, membership forms that you can fill out at the Forge as well. And you can also contact the director here. It's Joe Rotundi. And he can also set you up for a membership if you wanted one. These pictures you have up, like, are these all made by like, the same people? Uh, a lot of the pictures that are up are uh, just for decoration. So that one, for instance, is Michelangelo. So that's one that's in the Sistine Chapel in Italy. So we have lots of prints. But we like to keep the space encouraging creativity and people to make things. So we're always looking for things to encourage people to, to be creative and use their imagination. So like, what made y'all come up with the name of this place? The forge, actually the original building was a forge. And a forge was a blacksmith shop. So they would use things or be able to uh, forge metal. So they said because it was creative, they kept the name of it and decided that it was a good name for a place that made things. <laughs> what is Sculptress? Sculptress is a 3D modeling program, and I always explain it as if it's virtual clay. So it's clay in the computer. So if you use your tools and you press on it, it would press on it just as if you were using your finger to press on the clay. So it's a very simple program that kind of, we call it organic modeling. So you can create people and animals and things that aren't square or boxes, in other words. <laughs> oh. Like, do you have your old room? Uh, my own room here? Like, like just like a little small little place that you can create your design instead of like just on a table where you share it with? Um, here we all just kind of share. Um, it's what's called a community space. And it's really nice because if you come in and you're stuck with something or ha and don't know how to do something, there's usually somebody who can help you. And that's what's nice about the space because you can always find somebody that will help you either learn how to do uh, use a tool or you learn how to do a process that maybe you're stuck with. So that's where this space works really nice because we collaborate a lot. So there's always somebody who's willing to help you here. So it's kind of like a big family in a lot of ways. Last time when we came here, you were helping us make faces on the computer. Mm -hmm. So like, how did that involve with the job that you're doing right now as well? Well, one of the things I have to do is after I take a 3D scan using my scanner, they don't come out perfect. So I have to go in and I have to fix them. So Sculptress is kind of like that smoothing and, and forming and making those things work right. So I use it because it also helps people learn how to sculpt using the 3D program. So when you're just starting and you just don't know where to begin, that's a good place to start is by using Sculptress. Um, it's a free program, it's very easy to use, and it also has you creating your own things instead of always using something that somebody else made. So members have 24 seven access to here? Yes, uh, they can come holidays, weekends, everybody's given a key card, so it's electronic that will open the doors, and you can come in whenever you want. Thank you, everybody, for joining the Rocky and Derek Show. Thank you, Heather. Thank you very much for interviewing me. Be sure to like and subscribe, and Rocky has something to say. Hope we get to interview you again about well, something else. Thank you very much. You guys are very good interviewers, I have to say. See you next time on the Rocky and Derek Show. Bye. Bye.